Alrighty. Destroy. Destroy all the beauty. But yeah, I guess like this is one area that is officially like non-Lego though. Because like, uh, as I was saying earlier, like everything was just like straight up built out of Lego and I love that. As much as I do still, at the same time, I guess that they have to have some uh, environments that aren't just like 100% Lego or else it might be a bit too taxing on the game or just a bit too over the top. I'm not even too sure. But. It looks like there might be secrets over here. Whoa. Okay. Well, where would I have to even put this? So I don't see the secrets around other than, oh, I guess there's that. I have to get closer, I think, though. It's still so strange that you can hurt yourself with the force while, like, blowing something up. Because it's just like... I'm going to use the force to destroy these flowers. And then he's just like rips part of himself and like rips his clothes off by accident with it. He's just like, oh, it hurts. Oh, I love it though. Yes, the force, it flows through me. But I don't know, that's, that's just the way I kind of envision things and continue to see it. Okay, this might be a bad idea. There's too many physics on this thing. Okay. Well, oh no. I think I can do this though. It's really nice, if nothing else, that uh, when you uh, when you fall into the water like that, you don't actually lose studs though. Because that always was the absolute worst, I gotta say. When you just accidentally fall somewhere and then you just you like lose all your studs. You've collected a, a ton of them throughout uh, the whole level and then you just mess up platforming like five times in a row and then you have to redo the level, basically. Okay, I might be able to reach it from here. Oh, these things seem so dangerous. Uh, there's too much physics on it. Ah, <laughs> if that's even possible. You never would think that there would be such thing as too much physics, but when physics fail, oh boy. I'm determined to get this though. I really am. I'm gonna do it. I got the power. Uh, let's uh, move this one over a little bit closer just in case, because I'm not taking any chances with this. There we go. I think we can do it. The luck of Qui-Gon Jin. Brick over troubled waters. There we go. That's all I needed. Let's, let's check what else is on the map around here though. Oh, because there is a little bit of a fog of war. And holy crap is this place huge. This is like the full-on Theed Palace right here. I didn't expect that. But yeah, I guess there's a kyber brick down below somewhere, but I guess my objective is up this direction, so... Yeah, I probably should. But yeah, like, just even looking at the galaxy map for the hyperspace travel and all that... This just shows how massive this game is, and like... Having to collect so many more characters, that's, that's more of what it is than anything else at this point. So I just need more characters to do all the unlocking and do free mode, because as much as... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so I guess, be careful what you're doing when you're mashing the B button, because uh, bad things can happen, potentially. Aw, oh, and see, these Lego pieces are invincible. Those fish farmers are gonna have a, a good life. Not having their stuff destroyed by Qui-Gon Jinn and his terror. So yeah, like, maybe if I uh, just go explore this direction and then make my way back, because still, this seems like a huge open world section that I'm going to have to do still at some point when I unlock, like, at least, if nothing else, a droid, probably. Because I could definitely use a droid. 
Ah. Oh. And also, maybe just for the fun of things. Whoa, bam! Lightsaber throw for the win. Oh, there's actually real people here. Hello. Oh. <laughs> he seems a bit sad now. So I guess he can't talk to every NPC. The Gungan area was not indicative of everything, but it still shows that there's just... There's just too much to see and do in this game. I guess there's a reason why they spent, like, however many years making this, because this is insane. But in the good kind of way. Ah! Whoa! Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Jar Jar, you look like a, a battle droid for some reason. You're just the same tone and shape, obviously, for some reason. <laughs> Your face looks like a battle droid. Oh, what does this guy have to say? Outrageous! That locksmith installs this fancy pants password controlled lock on my door, then departs without telling me the password. And I'll tell you what, I'm certainly not heading to the Uscrew district to get it myself. They don't call me the most stubborn man in Feed for nothing. I feel like I know this voice actor. I'm not entirely sure, but like it seems so familiar. Wait, what? Oh, I think that there's somebody inside here. I can just like clip my lightsaber through the wall or something. Outrageous! And I'll tell. But yeah, I guess, I guess that that's just the kind of case in general, though, is that there's probably going to be at least like one locked off area per uh, section of level, and I just I just need protocol droids, <laughs> protocol droids, astromech droids, all of the above, all those good stuff. It's, it's stuff plurals. Just put more S's on everything. The one thing I gotta say that I am a little bit disappointed in is that uh, you can't actually jump up a ladder. You can't jump and then grab back on and then jump and then grab back on. You have to just kind of like climb a ladder the slow way. And it's really just depressing. <laughs> I think even in the regular LEGO Star Wars game you could jump up ladders. What is this madness? Give me the ability to jump, because I like it. Okay, I think that this... This is another one of those secrets that I might not be able to do yet. So, uh... Onward to one level below? Oh, well, at least there's some studs here to grab. But yeah, that's the thing too, is like, I feel like I should be destroying everything in that case if... That counted as a whole level that I just didn't grab enough studs from to get my true Jedi hero of experience and happiness. Oh boy. Also, I think I figured out this thing a little bit. You can whew, just decide a few different things that you want to throw your lightsaber at and then it's just it just goes and auto aims. That's gonna still like I I feel that the lightsaber throw was already overpowered just to begin with when I first used it. Now I think it might be even more overpowered. Cause that's that's incredible. But it's still so cool. All of this game is just like It's hard to believe it exists, as always, with any of the Lego games and Lego Star Wars specifically, because you know, Lego games is one thing, but just Star Wars has always just been such a a thing that's near and dear to my heart. And being able to see it with such, like, great detail, even in Lego form for detail, it's... It's still so amazing. I love it. Oh. And the ability just to use to force powers wherever you can. Okay. Yeah, let's continue the story because, like, I still feel like I don't have enough characters to uh, properly explore this area anyway, so... Let's see what the, the LEGO people say for how this next section of the story even went. Oh, here we go. 
Because so far, yeah, it's all just been very much focused on Qui-Gon and his good old buddy Obi-Wan. That and also, I guess, still... Gun <laughs> this Gungar... Ah! Uh, Gungan Jar Jar. He just kind of exists, too, of course, but... Yeah, still lightsaber throw. He even kills them in one hit, too, so... I imagine that you're taking her to their ship. If their ship is docked in the hangar, that gives us some time to intercept them. Oh, boy. Or I just do this. Are we near the hangar? I didn't realize they were in a hurry. I've taken... Are we safe now? What were you saying? I believe so. But who do we have to thank for our rescue? Jar Jar Binks. The Supreme Chancellor. It's urgent Him alone. that we contact with the Republic. Do you have transports? In the main hangar. This way. Yours are guys bomb bag. Oh. <laughs> it's not too far. Oh, Stay man. close. The Queen is not safe here. We must take her to the Republic on Coruscant immediately. It's funny that there's only just this one of, like, her, uh, servants along with her. So, I mean, that probably alone just tells you, like, that's probably the real Padme right there. <laughs> Don't let them get away! Oh, no. Oh. Oh, the droid vanity. It's like... Oh, and, like, the hearts are completely different in this game. I didn't even realize that. Because, like, originally they only had, like, a four-heart system for, uh... Lego Star Wars, and just like, I think the Lego games in general before, they just kind of used hearts. But now I guess it's like a health gauge more than anything else. But since uh, Jedi overpowered, I kind of want to see how uh, Jar Jar is in combat. Just like firing with his magical stick. Doesn't seem as overpowered, but we'll see. Where are the droids? Because these are the droids that I'm looking for. Destroy. Oh, cause it... Yeah, you can, you can almost kill him in one hit. It's still not nearly as fast or efficient as just going... Doop, 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 and then you just kind of... Throw. Target, throw, and win. So, I like, that's, I guess, the thing so far, too, is that maybe it's worth mentioning that... This game, I think, is probably gonna be a bit easy. Uh, it's not gonna be, like, one of the hardest... Lego games that you've ever did play or anything like that, but the exploration aspect I think is probably gonna make up for any and all faults that this game could even potentially have, because this is such a huge area, even just here that like you're just kind of following through uh, for the mission that's just kind of open world and stuff. It's nice that they have this big of an environment like this though, it's, it's just so good. Okay, the waterfront. Let's actually lift this up just in case uh, there's something that I'm going to be missing here. Okay, I think that I can probably get that little thing there. So it's probably I just need to jump from here and then climb up this... Uh, wait, what? I guess let's swing! Oh. Yeah, let's try to do this Donkey Kong style. I like how the rope looks, because these are, like, Lego ropes, the way that they kind of were. But I don't think that they were very common, like, Lego things in general. Like, I've only really seen them in, uh, in artwork <laughs> and my Lego magazines growing up, but... Swinging in feed. Mission complete. Still, some of them definitely seem a lot easier than others, but uh, I'm glad that still they have like 1,200 of these things. Because this is still absolutely incredible. That there's just so much to see and to explore and to do so far. Oh, bombs away! Oh, so I guess you can still do like the kind of regular old like Jedi Slam like before, but you maybe just have to be a certain height off the ground. It's good to know, but let's just do a little bit of this. Capture the queen. Your Majesty, stay back. It's just one droid. Stay back. He's the most dangerous droid. He was like a a B two battle droid almost, but not quite. 
He's some sort of, like, prototype version. Clearly. Why else would he be the only droid to attack you? Oh. Okay, maybe there's one more. <laughs> See, and like, that's the thing too, is that when you lock on the way you have, oh, and the way you can with the lightsaber throw, is that you just kind of accidentally hit things in such a weird manner, but it's just so good. Lightsaber throws for the win. Hmm. But still, like, I'm feeling after this, uh, this battle, they're gonna have to, like, rebuild half of Theed at this point. Because... The Jedi, they love their destruction. Oh, see, and I think that this... Like, this room looks familiar, but I don't think that this is where this door comes out. I think this door is supposed to lead toward, like, their... Like, reactor room. If that's what you want to call it, I don't even know. But yeah, that was a that was a good headshot. But yeah, cause like I'm pretty sure that like outside this door is kind of where like Darth Maul came from, yeah? Or something along those lines. Hmm. Let's see where this will go. Cause there's actually a lot of uh, these around and lots of secrets up top in various locations like that. But, I don't see anything hidden away somewhere, unless it's in here. No, maybe it's outside. Ah, maybe I'll take a quick look, because it's on the map. Doop, doop, doop. That should be really easy to get to. Okay. Here's what you call using your head. Using your Jedi head. What? Oh. Oh, wait, can I even move while doing that, or...? I think that it's... It was just a weird coincidence that it, it worked the way it did. Also, I think a weird coincidence in the fact that I just hit Jar Jar. Oh, using the power of the Force. Because you know what? It's it's not about me. It's, it's more just the will of the Force, you know? He just wants Jar Jar to feel the pain. Huh. I have a feeling I need a specific character to be able to like, climb up those or something. Because also, just the fact that, like, I pushed it and then... it all fell apart, but... Nah, well. Let's see what we can do over here. Queen Amidala, who's clearly not the real queen. Oh, wait, what? This guy has blue arms! Wait, what? Is this just like a tutorial droid, or what's what's these? This is how you access your uh, your menu without having to press start or something. But yeah, I don't I don't know. Honestly, don't understand this whole thing. Well, he seems to be invincible too. Everyone run away before he becomes you omnipotent. No. Okay. Let's let's see what you guys have to say. Oh, so I guess that's just the end of that already. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's go to Coruscant. <laughs> There's the blockade. <laughs> oh man. Most intense critical well, most intense droid repair that I've ever seen. There's not enough power to get us to Coruscant. The hyperdrive is leaking. <sighs> oh, now there's nothing left of the hyperdrive. It's small, out of the way. The Trade Federation has no presence there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Their animations are just so, like, well done Tatooine for things like that. 
Any suggestions on where we should land? Mossespa spaceport seems like our best option to find the parts we need. Mossespa it is then, but land on the outskirts. We don't want to attract attention. Yeah, it is weird that uh, still you can kind of fly around a little bit in these, but it just doesn't. You're mostly just kind of stationary in space, so I'm assuming at some point you'll actually be able to, like, have a proper, like, space combat level, or be able to just fly around between planets, hopefully. But, still, currently, it seems like, for the most part, there's just not a lot of movement. And then it's more that you just kind of... have to hold and hover over wherever you want to go. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Oh, there's three characters to unlock. Oh, I need those. Oh, see, this is beautiful, though. Oh, I was expecting something else to be going on, but I think that's just a loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> 